Welcome back guys to the channel. Uh, this week a nice quick one. I'm going to do a couple of updates to the collection and go through what we picked up at the Taunton show, the Southwest invert show that we said last week we was going to. Uh, so literally just got back from that and we have a few items that we've bought. Uh, didn't buy too much. In fact, as far as livestock goes, um, not much at all. Uh, as far as the purchases go anyway. Um, so let's get into those bits first um, and then we will jump into the updates about the collection. Let's roll the intro. So, what did we pick up? Right, well, the obligatory as you walk in the door court bark bags. We got two of those. Um, one tubes and one broken pieces just so we've got a variety of stuff it's always good to pick up the cork bark in my opinion um i've got a massive tub of it underneath the desk and i just literally have a, anything available all times just you know just in case i'm rehousing or doing whatever so it's always good um next up we picked up off of uh dave fisher dave's little beasties um, if you don't know who he is, then obviously uh, I don't really understand what you're doing in the hobby. But um, Dave was selling at the stall to the, at the show today, and I'd already pre-arranged to pick up this 20 by 20 by 30 Exoterra. And I tell you what, I do not understand how he has got this to be in better condition than you'd buy both brand new ones. It's just unbelievably clean. So he's either never used this. Or the guy's a magician. You're a wizard. Dave. So, um, Dave's stall, what did he have on his stall today? He had loads of stuff. A lot of stuff from the things he was pulling egg sacks from in the last few months. Um, some really nice spiders on his table today. He had these coasters available, uh, mugs and all sorts. And obviously he was very busy, very popular. Doing a lot of uh, photos with a lot of people. Um, he had a good stall today. He had a good stall. Um, Portsmouth Tranchlers had an, has a brilliant stall, lots of spiders available, Clayton at Bugnut, some really nice, nice specimens of spiders on there. Um, as always, Spa. I mean, Luke and Daddy Spa uh, pulling out all the stops with some of their spiders. Unbelievable, unbelievable things on display there today. The Birups or the Birups, um, females and males, then the, some of the slings they had, the prices they were at, absolutely amazing. The Metallicas, the uh, Victoroy, um, and all, all sorts of stuff. Really, really good as always. If you want to go and check out them for some spiders at decent prices with decent sizes, honestly, just go to their website. Um, amazing. But really nice family. Really, really good. Um, Phil was there um, from Incredible Inverts. He had his own stall. Looked like he had some really nice stuff on his stall again today. Um, Micro Exotics. Oh, wow. So... The guy there with isopods, unbelievable, really, really unbelievable. Picked up um, a couple of bits from him, obviously the obligatory stickers for his uh, website. Um, Micro Exotics, go and check him out, Facebook and Instagram, um, really nice guy. Um, and Leah um, and Ellie from e &L Bindings, some really beautiful stuff on there. I got gifted by Ellie, the Welsh sheep, awesome, nice little pin badge from them, um, and from Leah, some chow for the isopods, the roaches, the millipedes, whatever, these things, this looks nice, it's a little blend she makes, um, and I've got a little special bag from her, so that's pretty cool. Um, right, what else did we pick up, apart from the uh, cork bark and the exo? We had, we got given some stickers. So obviously I went down there with Callum, Happy Ant. Uh, let's get that in focus, Happy Ant. He was down there today because I drove him. Um, and we had Jeremy from Jeremy's Wild World with us. Um, we had uh, Steve W, um, who will be selling at the Capital Show. So I'll be working there with Callum, it'll be good. But we had a brilliant drive down there, four of us. It was a proper little road trip. Um, got a sticker from Amy's Web, nice little sticker from her, and Russ from RS Designs, which is like another nice little sticker from that guy. Um, then we went and visited who? Who did we go? 
spider shop some decayed wood i always pick this stuff up it's normally cheap at the shows and i always just throw it in with like as a with some of the roaches the millipedes the isopods all sorts it's pretty good decayed wood for the beetles as well and then we had millipede mulch as well um, which is like basically a mix of leaf litter and um, wood and some nice soil nice and cheap at the shows so I don't mind picking that up as well uh, what else did we pick up next well next let's have a look we spoke to Mark Mark uh, spider guy he uh, gifted me one of his channel mugs so that's pretty cool um, I'll be taking that to work and I'll be having some coffee out of that this week I would think nice little mug nice little mug um, I dropped off some items for people um, my mature male elegance went to Scott from Scott's inverts so hopefully fingers crossed for you that the little man does the business with it packed really easily last night um, which was surprising because the only two interactions I've ever had with it is bolted on me but hey ho obviously happy to be leaving my premises and going down to see Scott I suppose so well cheers spider um, what do we pick up from keeper cards this awesome mantis t-shirt robot mantis apparently there's a story to it and it will be sort of progressed and revealed in the next coming t-shirt but yeah got this do like their designs and the mantis looks amazing so really nice t-shirt from them guys um, we were bought down today a tub a tub that contains an awful lot of dubias in here um, from Chris who works on Creature North he has been sort of like chatting to me back and forth he's got a billion of these things at home and really pleased that I managed to get a decent colony of these so I will rehouse these they won't be staying in here um, I'll be putting them in nice thing with some substrate and um, getting these things fed up and hopefully hopefully breeding quite nicely going forward soon for my colony um, on to the last couple of bits that we did get um, and this is the livestock so I only actually bought one thing today and that was some gastroi, some armadillidium gastroi uh, isopods. There's a small colony of 12 in here from Microexotics. Um, so, yeah, I'll be changing these over into a setup very soon. Apparently, quite hardy, but I haven't got these. I have three other species of isopod, and I just thought I'll get another one, even it up. I like even numbers, so hopefully, we'll get these breeding very, very soon. And then, amazingly, finally, this is absolutely awesome. So, obviously, I said that I drove down today. We picked up uh, Happy Ant Callum, and then we drove round to meet Steve and Jeremy um, at Nor in North London, round the top of the M25, round by Boreham Wood area. And uh, Jeremy was so happy that he had been offered a lift that he gifted me and a phone of Pelma by Colour Artem, which I'll get some footage of and hopefully put it over the top of this in a minute. Um, unbelievable gift, honestly. Knowing that the by Colour Artem's, you know, knowing what some of these are priced at in some shops, I am overwhelmed by his generosity, to be fair. Um, I did tell him multiple times he didn't need to do this, but at the same time, I'm extremely, extremely grateful, Jeremy. So. I really do appreciate this gift. It will be uh, rehoused and I will watch it grow for the next billion years. Um, these are really slow cars, but they're a beautiful, beautiful spider. So cannot wait. And I just thank you so, so much, Jeremy. Um, so, yeah, that is everything from the show. The show was amazing. Um, got to speak to an awful lot of people um, and it was just a great day even without buying like too much on the livestock side of things didn't need to social side of it today was amazing won't be going to the Barnsley one because I'm at a, another event that day but the capital show in Rice Slip in April uh, 27th I think 
maybe not, maybe, yeah, maybe it's 27th. Um, look forward to that event. So anyway, let's get on to the rehousing, shall we? Let's put the isopods and the bicolor atom in their new homes. So here we have the Armadillidium gestroi, or the gorgeous yellow spotted isopods. What we've got, it's got a nice tub for them, loads of ventilation around the top, and we've done loads of ventilation around the lid as well. So we'll move them into here, hopefully we'll be able to see what we're doing as we do it. Let's put that there. Right. First up, we have some soil. I'm not going to use too much of this because we have some grub then to mix in. So a little bit of that. Followed by some MK Exotics grub den, which we've had for a while. Normally use this for the millipedes. couple of scoops of that. Get a bit of a mix. The main thing for the isopods is loads of leaf litter isn't it? So what we do, we put some decayed wood and stuff in here. We have a bag of decayed wood so we'll give that a Nice helping in there. Mix that in with the soil. Give that a good mix in, get rid of all the lumps. Some decayed leaf. Mix all this in the soil. And then uh, next bit we're going to put in there. Uh, maybe bark but what we we'll do is we'll get some moss in there first because we have one end with a bit of a humidity gradient so we'll try and put up one side a bit of moss all broken up and this will mean that we can keep the moisture in one end Go with a bit of bark, and what we'll do is we'll put the bark sort of so we've got like there, so you've got it half over where the moss is, and then half not where the moss is, if that can be seen like that. And then we'll put some leaf litter in. Break this up a little bit. That'll do for new stuff because what we've got is in here we've also all got whatever they've got now already and we're going to put that in with them so they've got that. The other thing we'll add is a little bit of cuttlefish. A 
there's only 12 of them in here so we'll put a little bit of cut fish in there just under the leaf there somewhere right give this a little spritz first just down one side And as you can see the soil here will be more damp with the, and it will come through up to the sphagnum moss. This side stay a bit drier. Right, let's get the little dudes in shall we? Should be 12 in here. I've not actually seen these properly yet but we'll put their leaf litter in as we go. Making sure that we don't leave it anywhere near the holes on the enclosure oh don't tip out oh look there we go there's one there tiny little dude this is why it's going to be imperative to be careful because these aren't the biggest there's one in there already see a bunch more here Let's just move that one out for a sec I do just want to count them in really so we've got Two, three, four, five. Oh my word, there's so much more than 20 in here. It should have been 12. And I've counted 17 and I've still got a load in the substrate here so what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to pour the substrate in so that we haven't got to worry about counting them out anymore I just wanted to make sure there was 12 and there certainly is more than 12 in there which is brilliant these again were the ones from Micro Exotics so if you do get a chance to go and check them out do so um, if you're interested in isopods honestly the guy's amazing um, yeah when you say 12 you mean 20 million in here I think there's an absolute ton in there absolute ton so we'll just tip this substrate in I think as long as we've got room for it this is the problem it will settle down careful not to crush the little guys There we go, all in. Make sure they've got no way of getting to the holes. Which that leaf is really trying my patience with. There we go, the gastroid. Right, let's get some close up, shall we? I really like them, I think they're beautiful. They're stunning looking species. Right, well that's them done. Let's put the lid on and uh, 
Let's get this bicolor item rehoused. So into one of the Reptizoo magnetic lid enclosures for now because obviously being a slow growing trenchler and being only in this at the moment should be alright for now. It'd be a temporary enclosure anyway, but let's get this set up. So start off with a little bit of core block and we'll mix that with some soil that we have. Let's give that a good old mix around. And then we'll mix that up. A bit of spider life. Not too much. Just enough. Like I say, this one's not going to be enclosure for too long I wouldn't think but at least with this for now we can have a, a good look at him or her hopefully and see how it gets on we'll give it a bit of a bit of a hide um, where do we want the hide where do we want the hide probably want the hide at the back over here give it just a I don't think it can go under if it wants to. Sort of have that set up like that. A little bit of leaf litter crumpled up for texture. We've already got his water bowl in the other enclosure, so we'll transfer that. And we'll move them over. Hopefully this one's going to be really, really calm. We'll see. We'll get some footage of it anyway. Take the water like right there. Um, yep, that's fine, just there. Let's have a quick close-up look at this one, shall we? We'll get the old phone with the macro lens out, and I'll have a proper little look at the blood leg. See what it looks like, close-up. Looks quite chunky, quite chunky indeed. What a stunning looking spider though, eh? Look at those legs. Dark abdomen. Yeah. Right. Let's get them shipped over to their new home, shall we? In a hopefully very calm and non-stressful way. without me dropping things. Come on in dude, let's go that way. Come on. You want to go into your new home, I'll tell you what, we'll do this the easy way. We'll do this the nice easy way. We'll put them into a vial and then we will move the file. Come on, let's go. There we go, into there. That's it. No stress. Spider moves in nicely. And then what we can do is we can put it in the back here and then, without getting in the way, just give to the back and hopefully it will come back out. Come on. 
Come on. Or maybe it'll just be really stubborn. Maybe it'll just be really stubborn and not want to move. No, it really doesn't want to come out, does it? it? Really doesn't want to come out. What I'm going to do, all right, I'm going to leave it there for a bit. We're going to leave it there and we're going to see if it comes out on its own accord because I don't want to give this spider too much stress and it's it obviously doesn't want to move. So we'll give it a couple of minutes. I will turn the camera off probably. Um, I'll leave it, I'll go and make a drink. I'll come back and I'll see if it's moved out, shall we? Back in a second. One eternity later. Right, I'll give it a few minutes. It's probably about 10, 15. It came out, sat there, I've removed the vial and it's literally just gone to where the vial was. And as you can probably see, I don't know if you can see, but it's just, yeah. We'll get the camera out, we'll have a proper look at it, shall we? Let's get the close-ups, because then at least we can see it. So, over in the corner, and as you can see, it's moving, but it's obviously extremely stressed so we'll give it 24 hours 48 hours let it settle in maybe try and give it a feed but it looks like it's got plenty of room in here and these are extremely slow growers so we'll have a look on it from time to time feed it look after it obviously and uh, just got to say thank you very very much to Jeremy whilst the spider tries to uh, possibly escape out the top of the enclosure so what did you think guys? The Taunton show was awesome, like some really good people, it was far busier than last year and a uh, great bunch of people down there, lots more sellers, it was really good, it wasn't overcrowded and the queues at the beginning went down really quick, um, long drive but well worth it, good start for the shows for 2023 in my opinion, um, the bicolor Artem didn't want to move did it, it was uh, quite being quite stubborn, it did take about another 10-15 minutes to get it out and then when it did get out, one thing that it didn't get on camera was when it was sitting at the corner of its enclosure all of a sudden out of nowhere it just ran off and uh, decided to just jump out of the enclosure walk about 10 foot and stop at the corner of my desk um, yeah, so after all that sitting there not wanting to do anything it, it did a runner, so maybe it just needed to stretch its legs a little bit all back safely in the enclosure now the isopods, the armadillidium gastroi they're uh, really nice, bright, colourful isopods. Um, I know isopods aren't for everyone, but they're brilliant. They don't take up much space, and they're amazing things to watch. Um, hopefully, they'll breed into a nice big colony. I've got the Armadillidium mascaratum, um, and which are like the zebra ones, and I have two of the Pacellios, the Lavis dairy cow and the Lavis orange. Um, and they're really breeding well, so hopefully, hopefully, we'll have another one to sort of join that in the uh, breeding race. Um, Anyway, if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up and a like, comment. What did you do? Did you go to Taunton? If you did, what did you get? Um, unless you're Steve, because I know Steve bought virtually everything that was there on one of the stands anyway. Um, but yeah, anyone else, if you went, I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, come and say hello. Much appreciated. And uh, I will catch up with you guys um, next week.